Press. You are aware of that. Press. You are aware that our President Commander in Chief, Dr. George Manawir, just ended his last annual message on just recently. All of political party leaders have been giving their own critiques about the message. And I think it's their responsibility to analyze the message from the chief. Coming to the MD era, as a former political leader and currently chair of the governing council, I analyzed the message. At the end of his message of the chief executive, he said he would be going to the villages and towns to ask for a new mandate, meaning one second term. But that's good for him to request. Everyone can request. But he also said in the message that he took over from a broken economy, empty coffer. Nothing was absolutely in the bank. From the first annual message, 2018, till now, he has been repeating, empty coffer. The first time he said that, Madame Salif would, do, would declare monetarium on all government expenditures in a bid to ensure that there was sufficient money left in the bank for the new government she was telling her to, to operate. No government was, up, was using money during her time when she declared monetarium. So when he made his first statement, oh, I took over from empty coffer, nothing was there. Ellen came up and I'm selling him and said, look, I left a lot of money there. If you temper with the people money, don't bring it to me. I had taught them a Nobel Peace winner, Madame Salim, a renowned politician, prestigious woman in this republic, Africa, and the world. Can I lie? Can I turn a government over to somebody she gets a photo to operate a government with empty coffer? You know, Madame Salim is our mother. Revolutionary, we, we, we started it together, we traveled many places. So I have no restriction to enter the house or to communicate with like that. My concern is, I saw something in the copy of the term of one hundred and fifty million U.S. dollars straight were in the reserve. One hundred and fifty million. Let me be disputed. Let me be called a liar by the publication of that 10 over note. The 10 over note was signed by Abraham Salih, giving over to him. He too attested to it, receiving. The legislature passed the information out into law, making such information public document. So I asked the, I'm asking the legislature to join me, specifically those 73 going for elections, the White House, the 15 going for elections, upper House Senate, and all others within the legislature, to join me in requesting our leader, Mr. President, who wants a second mandate, to publish the tale of a note that contains properties of the Liberian people including 150 million cash in a reserve. You did not, he did not audit the madam. I was at the inauguration. Right after the inauguration, the press came and asked me, Papi, you help your son to succeed. What next now? I said, audit. We want to see audit. 
Let the librarian people know what ready you, you took over from how to work with. That order was not done. So how do you know the coffer was empty and so forth? However, between Ellie and the president, Ellie said she left so much in the treasury. And there's an open turnover note. He said it was empty. The best way to convince the librarian people and all of us in the legislature as librarians is to make available to publication that turnover note. That will convince the people of Liberia that there is honesty, a transparency, with transparency, and that he took on the Constitution, he took on the Bible. I do solemnly swear. When you take oath, you got to work within the framework of the Constitution, the people's property that will turn over to you. What will turn over to you? It all contained in the turnover note. I'm not digging on somebody, but it's a reality. When one government takes over from another government, there's a turn over note. So please, Mr. President, you are a minister of the gospel of Jesus because you build a church and you stand on the altar of God to preach. There is importance that God attached to oath taking. Even in the great United States, the president takes out. The speaker takes out. Oaths are taken for you to assure the people that what you're going to do, what you're going to do, the administration, everything, will be in the framework of the Constitution. So in short, I'm appealing to the president. He wants my support. He wants Nima's support. He wants Liberian support. And I play a profitable role 